Make sure you're in Joe range. What happens is you start training and getting into the hand to hand range. Okay? You understand? So you try to use your range advantage. And make sure you don't start missing as, as you get when you're coming this way. Okay? You want to keep, keep it real. Watch your range again. Okay, let's go. Okay, some things to note. He has a linear line. Show it. Did you see it? Okay. My job is not to go make him miss by a mile. My job is to make him barely miss. So he goes right down. This is what I'm trying to do. Keep posture, watch your hunch. Get your arms up so that it's not getting stabbed in the back. My arms were up. Too early, now you're not fighting him. You are in a stance, Virginia. And Uke is not counting coup or tagging sharks, so you're supposed to penetrate the target with that weapon. You are fighting her. Put your hands up out of the way. You're fighting her. You have to penetrate the weapon. Not penetration enough, James. So if you would bend your knees more on the ski, you would be able to travel further instead of reserving your glute energy for who knows what. You could just train harder. The drill was slow, just like Rodin demonstrated it. Slow, I'm not going to say it again. You will all slow down because you obviously don't know who it is. Fight him. Okay. 
So to, to this drill, you can also add the kind of engaging him. Do you see? We'll go back. So I yin, I go yang, here he comes, right? Well, you see I'm going back. And all right, here comes the ski. And I do the movement. Don't worry if you're looking at the key, that's what I want. Okay? So boom, I connect with him, coming back. You, but you have heel weight, James. Because you have that sunken chest. He's straight. So you, you pick your target and then you stay on that line. You don't track them because they're going slow. Pick your target and you hit that same target. That's too low. Don't move your feet. You're on your heels. That's you, Sophia. Go forward with them.
That's it. So you brought him in more. The last two you weren't. And when it's time to eat me, you eat me. That's a strike. That's a strike. Stay closer. Risk it in training. Yes. You either have no inch or like a two to four inch ED. Okay? Those are unacceptable, right? I, I am yen, but now I'm yang. Okay? You have, I have people who won't go yin at all, and then I have people who's like, once I'm yin, I don't think I'm gonna stay here. Okay? It's gonna shift. Go. That's a strike. That's a strike. So as I, as I have the the yid wool, let's see how far I got her. There's a sweet spot to the head. So I don't want to, I'm not pushing her back. She comes in, boom. It's the same thing, move the jump. If she comes in, boom, there's a sweet spot to the kick, okay? And not, she's coming in, not the coming in, this is not it, okay? It's this perfect sweet spot. Here we go. So, there's the same timing, boom, and you can hear her jaw close on her, and this is not about James Long McKenney, right? You can see her balance is being taken. So when I do this other thing, that's a strike. It's not, it's a bad strike, so I don't want to even call it a strike. But there's a sweet spot, boom, where you can allow their center to come forward, keep their head back. Watch how long I'm back here on, on her compared to Romy. The yin is matching her, so boom. Okay, let's go.
You're not just touching the face and you have a magic hand. Keep your arm extended and hit the sweet spot already in posture. No hip rotation on the strike. The hip rotation was on the deviation. You see, you're, deep, you're rotating on the strike. You won't, at full speed, you won't have to be able to do that. So that's not the sweet spot. That's not the sweet spot. No one has to go fast. When the uke is traveling at that speed, you should not do that. To hit in posture. You don't have Idibiyashi. Idibiyashi, the back foot is further from the line of attack than the front foot. It is triangular to the Joe line. Same thing. Is your front foot closer to the line or further from the line? Let's go. doing it before you actually touch his face and so you're missing his face. Hi. Yeah, two to four in GDME. Hold the Joe. We'd rather her not have it and get up and use it again. Miyashi, triangular base. So why your foot, front foot is further from the line of attack is because you're trying to create about a foot uh, angle deviation. You don't need a foot angle deviation. The Joe is only one inch wide. 
when you add my rotation, I, my front foot should be about an inch off the initial line of attack. Then my back foot will have no problem getting further away from that. And I will have a triangular base, which will give me a wedge shape, which will help with the displacement of their balance. Let's go. Each rep, get closer to the Joe. Each rep, bring them in. Each rep, make contact with the monster. Each rep, fix that Dami Dimiyashi. Look at your feet. Look at your foot. You're supposed to make contact in position already. You missed again, you're looking down. This is not a triangle. Look at your feet. We do catch the Joe at the end. 